Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a report in Project by clicking the Report tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Type of Report to Create in the View Reports and Export button groups. If you select a report type in the View Reports button group, then you need to select the name of the report to create from the drop-down menu that appears. There are many preset reports within Project. We'll now review the names of the preset reports and their use within a project file. These reports are grouped by report category. In the dashboard reports, you have the burndown. This shows the amount of work, tasks completed, and work remaining. You also have the cost overview. This shows the current cost status of your project. Displays planned costs, remaining costs, actual costs and cumulative costs, baseline costs, and percent complete. It's used to determine if the project will stay within its budget. You will also find the project overview, which shows how much of your project is complete, as well as upcoming milestones and any late tasks. You'll also find the upcoming tasks. This shows the current week's work, the status of remaining tasks that were due, and the tasks that are scheduled to start in the next week. The Work Overview Report shows a work burndown for your project and the work stats for all top-level tasks so you will know the percentage of completion and what work is remaining. In the Resources Report category, you'll find the Overallocated Resources Report. This shows the work status for overallocated resources, including actual and remaining work. It's used to aid you in resolving resource overallocations. You'll also find the Resource Overview Report. This shows the work status of all work resources on the project. This is used to determine the work completed and work remaining on a project. The next report category is the Costs Report category. In this category, you will find the Cash Flow Report, which shows costs and cumulative costs per quarter for all top-level tasks. It can be modified to show various costs and alternate time periods. You'll also see the Cost Overruns Report, which shows cost variance for all top-level tasks and work resources. This report is used to show where actual costs are exceeding baseline costs. The Earned Value Report shows the earned value, variance, and performance indicators over time by comparing costs and schedules to a baseline. This is used to determine if your project is on track when compared to a selected baseline. The Resource Cost Overview Report shows the cost status of work resources and material resources. It shows cost details in a table and cost distribution in a chart. The Task Cost Overview Report shows the cost status of top-level tasks. It shows cost details in a table and cost distribution in a chart. The next report category is the In Progress Report category. In this report category, you will find the Critical Tasks Report. This report shows all tightly scheduled tasks that are listed as critical on your project's critical path. These are tasks that, if delayed, will cause the schedule to slip. You'll also find the Late Tasks Report. This shows all tasks that start or finish later than their scheduled start or finish dates. The Milestone Report shows the status of all milestone tasks within a project file. The Slipping Tasks Report shows all tasks that are behind schedule with a finish date later than the finish date within a selected comparison baseline. In the New Report category, you'll find the Blank Report. This is simply a blank report that you can completely customize. You'll also see the Chart Report. This is a chart for your project showing actual work, remaining work, and work by default. You'll also find the table report, which shows a table for your project data, showing the name, start, finish, and percent complete fields. You can customize the fields that are shown. The comparison report shows two charts side by side, showing the same project data. You can pick the fields you want to show in one chart side by side to compare them to the other. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.